previews for Xenoblade Definitive Edition are out, and it seems like a couple small channels have been posting a little bit more than they should. I'm actually kind of okay with it this time, though, only because this has informed us of a very, very, very big thing that I think anyone going in to play this for the first time with DE should know, and that is the opening cutscene to Future Connected spoils the ending of the original game. As in, it has a small montage of the first game's ending, and then just has one year later and transitions into the scene of Junks getting shot down, the stuff that we knew about already. So, I know a lot of people who started with 2 are wanting to play Future Connected first, just so they can get to what's likely, oh, if it's Future Connected, it might connect into other games. Don't do that. If you have not experienced the plot of the original Xenoblade Chronicles, play the main game first before Future Connected. It will spoil the ending, and you probably don't want that. Just a PSA, that is all. Um, if you want to see the intro with the spoiler part cut out, Game Explained did that. Any bigger news source will have cut it out properly. So, yeah. We're reaching the territory where actual leaks are happening. I know there was the 4chan text and screenshot leak, but with the exception of a couple screenshots of spoilery cutscenes, it was mostly a leak of features that have all been officially confirmed, like challenge mode. So most of that's been revealed officially, but stay safe if you want to avoid spoilers. I don't know how I'm going to successfully do so unless my physical copy comes early. So I'm kind of banking on that. Um... If you don't want any news about the previews at all go away, I just want to say a couple things. Um, Kino and Nene, being Ricky's kids, also, yeah, I know it's pronounced Kino now, blame Google Translate for putting an E in the translation of a Japanese name. I'm going to pronounce the E-A. That's just how the language works. Anyway, them being Ricky's kids is something I wasn't expecting. I'm guessing they're going to retcon at least Nene into any of the shots of Ricky's other kids. She looks like a younger Oka, so that makes sense. Kino is confirmed to be adopted, which makes sense. He's not the same color as either of his parents. But um, the fact that they're Ryan and Sharla clones, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, they literally function exactly like Ryan and Sharla do. So, I guess that's kind of unfortunate, but I also guess it's not like Torna. Shulk and Melia are there right after the main game, so they play exactly the same. So, it would make sense to not invent completely new characters. But we've seen some of their art names, and some of them are great. They're like... Napon versions of Ryan and Sharla's actual arts. Like, Mad Taunt for Nene is Glad Taunt. Wild Down has become Mild Down. It's really funny, honestly. Let's let's look at some other ones. Cool Off is Doze Off. Heal Bullet is Healy Bullet. Um, Shield Bullet is just Shield Kaklang. Shield Bash is shield curse smash so they're all napani things they also say meme which is good i was hoping that would be added somewhere and um yeah i don't think we actually have a confirmation of kino's gender at all and like it's a young child so the voice can't really tell but like whatever they are they are baby like look at this this is like the most i'm baby face this side of finch so and they also, like, have a similar color scheme in the blushes, and if they're a Sharla clone, they'll probably be equally useless in battle. So, even if Tyrea ends up not being playable, I think I have a new favorite character from this expansion. Also, Shulk just has a line where he's like, Wow, it's like watching Ryan and Sharla together again fighting, which is really funny. So, they at least acknowledge it in-universe. But yeah, that's all I got. Goodbye.